Blog Talk Radio. You are now listening to DC Radio. 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 Lady KD, how you doing? What's up? What's up? Just, 
just popped in. Flawless Fortunato, what's good? What's good, people? Lady KV, Larry motherfucking Cushion Berry. I no forgot design. to bring the motherfucking. She flyer. forgot the motherfucker. Hang up on her. Hang up on her. She forgot the motherfucker. She did not mm-hmm. say the motherfucker. That's fucked She violated. That's kitchen. how you feel tonight. That's how you nah, feel tonight. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I just got yeah, hit in the eye with a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we throw one of them at the end. You know what I mean? That's what's up. All yeah, the yeah, it was good. Oh, oh we, we got some shit going on tonight now. We got a we got a guest oh. caller. We gonna call, uh, nickname Kaboom. Not Say Kaboom, like the purple stuff that you spray on the table when it clear all the stains and shit off. She say she say she okay, explosive. She say she a bomb. Oh, okay, Kaboom. Say, That's what's going on. Yeah, she got a little story. She gonna tell us some shit, and uh, you know, she had uh told it to me earlier this week, and it kind of made me kind of launch a stat. And, you know, it's not necessarily aimed at her, but I got to thinking, and um, it it had me launch a stat called uh, Are Independent Women Needy? You know what I mean? And I got a little feedback on there. You know, there's a lot of playing around and shit like that, but uh, we're going to get her online, and I want to discuss that. You know what I mean? I had a couple other things I want to discuss, too, but shit, that first blunt knocked all that shit out of my head. So, I don't know. You know what I mean? But we're going to get on that topic right there and shit. See what the fuck really going on. What's really percolating and shit. So how y'all well, doing this week? Really how, how was y'all week? I had a hell of a That's week. Man. My damn science has been fucking help. with me. I don't know if it... Hello? Hey, breathe, breathe, nigga, breathe. <laughs> yeah, man. It's... Sinuses and allergies have been killing me. The trees been trying to make baby trees for next year. I ain't with that shit. Well, yeah, yeah, you all in the is. middle and shit. You all up in the middle of the motherfucker. I feel you. I feel you. I right. be having that shit. But actually, you know what? The funny part about it is when I'm more into the elements, when I'm all off into that shit, it bothers me less. But, like, if I wasn't out there in that yeah. shit, man, and I just walked out, man, my hay fever and all of that shit would be acting up so tough. Yeah, I noticed that, too. I noticed that. It's almost like you well, filtered, like you be in a bubble, and then as soon, you know, like you don't have nothing bothering you. But as soon as like if you go outside for the first time in a few days or something, when it's high, like uh, this summer, my eyes was watering. I was sneezing all freaking day. I was, I mean, I was getting on my own nerves so bad. Some little white things that be flying around. I'm not sure if I'm allergic to my dog's dandruff too, so I, I might have a couple things going on. Aw, that'd be messed up. you got shit popping. Mm. Actually, I tried to get, uh, you know, since this is such a touchy subject, you know, about uh, women or independent women and the needy aspect and stuff like that, I tried to get our former co-hosts uh, all here for a minute, you know, so we would have, like, two females and two guys so that, you know, I mean, basically you'd have, Total opinion across the board, you know what I mean, about how we feel about this, but she was unable to make it. So, uh, actually, uh, Kiki, she called in, and I'm going to throw her in. So, she'll be our, like, okay. uh, special guest host, you know what I mean? And uh, me, Flawless Fortunato, Lady KD, and Kiki, we'll all, um, you know, listen to her story and, and give how we feel about it and, you know, and also – Answer how we feel individually about our independent women needy. Whether you want to go specific you know in I'm general, it don't matter. I'm going to yeah. drop out and I'm going to call back because I think I have a real bad connection. So um, uh-huh. I just just click me back in. I'm just going to hang up and call right back. Okay, no doubt. Okay. Right. Yo, I Kiki. Heard perfectly. <laughs> what up, though? Oh, yeah. We, what's good? What's good? Not much. You chilling with Detroit weather? Oh, you still up here? Yeah. Yeah, because I was going to cuss you out. Like, damn, you going to hit the <laughs> D and don't even fuck with the clinic radio. Like, fuck. Yeah, something. I've been busy. I'm like, let me jump up on the radio and give my shout out to y'all people. You know? <laughs> I ain't thinking about up. y'all. That's what's up. What's up, How you Kiki? been doing? You ain't... 
What's up, though? <laughs> what up, Kiki? I just been like kind of getting drunk, so I'm sorry. Oh yeah, y'all have to Ain't forgive me. Wrong, I'm not buzzed this evening. Flawless Fortunato is missing a buzz this evening. I'm so sorry. You ain't off that minute. You ain't man. I, man, I couldn't make it out to get. I had a I had a, uh, a strawberry margarita earlier with my sister, but that's what I'm drinking on now. Uh, well, you hey, man, you fifty percent of the way there. I just found out them bitches cost a little bit more than the lime readers. Like, what the fuck is up with that shit? Really? <laughs> wow. It was still two for five when we yeah. went out. Oh, yeah. You know, if they running a deal, then they already, like, fuck a couple of cents. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, ain't no big difference. But lime for something with that? I know. I don't I know. Yeah, lime's that. out of season. Oh. <laughs> Strawberry must tell. be I'm everybody's I'm just... favorite. Yeah, the strawberry kind of good. It ain't got that twang in it, but I still like that lime. It, that twang make me seem like I'm getting more fucked up or something. You know what I mean? I don't even know. I'm going to yeah, be off like lime on this too. ceramic. Huh? I like the sour taste nah. and drink. But, but, but since we on the, the topic of liquor, do y'all know Ciroc got that new Amaretto flavor out? Top notch. I oh, had that fuck. last night. Yeah, that sounds yeah, so I ain't trying to be funny, but that strawberry uh, lime shit gave, gave me a hangover. I drank the two big cans. The next day, my head was knocking. But that's all right. Oh, that's yeah. That's that's look. Is that what that is? But you you, you go ahead and mess with that amaretto, that amaretto flavor Ciroc, I'm trying to tell you. Lime juice and lemon, lemonade by Everfresh. That's what you mix it with. Oh, that's okay. Nigga, I you had it last night. You, you done fucked me that's up with the like more liquor it. shit. I... I'm looking at this bitch and it do say more beverage and shit. So now I got to kind of chill on them lime burritos. I might as well be drinking the O.E. Flat out. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah those are malt liquors. But they good, though. Yeah, they, mm-hmm. yeah, they, yeah, they lie. They lie. They lie. So I'm going to get this car. I'm going to get this, uh, this, this this guest on here so we can get this shit started right quick. Damn, what just happened? Look at this shit. She ain't got scared. She been she been talking shit all motherfucking day. Not she motherfucking scared and shit. She was fuck really good. Who's scared? Kaboom. Oh, kaboom. But Silver Dollar, I ain't heard from Silver Dollar in a minute. Silver Dollar, I'm putting out an APB on your ass. Where you at? I was trying to get on the show today and shit. I guess you were having. Like, I hope Silver. I want I want to send a shout out to my little sister Pork Chop. I know you listen, and aha, I called you Pork Chop on air. <laughs> I'm just Not Pork Chop. How'd you get that nickname? Side of mashed potatoes. That's just slap. <laughs> okay, what's up? What's lady, the hey, hey, lady, hey, lady, KD, did you ever uh, do any more research on Lily? I did not. I did not, and okay. I have not thought about it until you just not said it. That's a shame. I have not, but um, uh, I'll try I just to remember. To I'm, I'm interested. I just forgot. Okay, I just wanted to see if you had anything. Hang on. Is he Yeah, all that stuff in the background. I'm gonna give him one more call. Oh, yeah, it might be. Uh, I'm gonna give her one more call. And if she don't come on, she's going to be mad than the motherfucker. But I'm going to tell the motherfucking story. You know, I don't give a fuck. You going to call up mm-hmm. Dynamite? Yeah, I'm going to call one more motherfucking time. Okay. That shit don't go pop, then I'm going to tell the story. You know what I mean? I don't know what's supposed to be hidden, what's supposed to be secret, but I'm going to tell that motherfucker. So, you know, <laughs> we still going to get down regardless. Motherfucker, D. I don't know what motherfucker is saying. You gonna talk about this whether you participate or not? I don't know. It sounds like we got a bad connection. I hear. I don't know 
way. No. That's how I was before. That's why I hung up and saw that. Okay, now. Mm-hmm. It was like dead tacky. I thought it was going to go away, but... Fuck it. Fuck it. All right. Peep this out, right? Just the deal, right? This this was going down in her life and shit. This was she, you know, was discussing with me and shit. And I had like an indifference of opinion with her ass, a different opinion. And uh, she wasn't yeah. going for that shit. So I, you know, I thought it was pretty good for a show. But he, okay, here go the issue. Now, she one of these uh, like y'all done heard me say it before. She one of these serial daters. You know what I mean? When I say a serial dater, I mean it ain't even. About you liking a nigga It's just This nigga about to go out And spend some money He about to Buy dinner He about to take me to the bar You know what I mean We about to go out He want to take me to the movies He want to take me somewhere he, You know He taking me somewhere Then I'm going Whether I like the nigga or not You know Whether I care for him or not So That's that's what she is She's a serial dater right now So Because of her Situation With her previous relationship she says she's not ready to have sex yet with anybody. Oh, uh, she won't be serial you know dating for motherfucking long. Right, it's all about, you know, the white. That's why she's doing right, it, right. because if she ain't doing it, she's going to have to keep rotating because somebody's going to get like, oh, you ain't, man, you ain't trying to do that, and they're going to stop spending their money. So she like, next, you know. All right, so 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 people and, don't. And I don't okay. think and I don't think it's fucked up because you got guys out there serial dating for one day and a little pussy too. So it's just we exactly. got it on both sides. Exactly, exactly. Right. I mean, that's what a lot of people refer to as just having fun. You know, when it's not serious, they just right, doing so. whatever they want to do to benefit them. So people it up. So people it up. So it's just one guy in particular that she serial dating with, which means, like I said, she she don't want she didn't express to me. Several times, she ain't trying to have sex with him. She don't even like him like that. She don't turn him on like that, you know. Uh, and he already know this and so forth. So, you know, she she go out with him, whatever, whenever. Uh, she also said that a few times, you know. They, you know, of course, he even gave her a couple of dollars here and there, whatever. But she said it wasn't never really nothing, you know. It wasn't much because she can do all that herself. You know, she could take herself out to eat. She can uh, buy herself a movie or whatever, you know, such and such, such. So that's nothing that he does. That's that's what she told me. And um, also, this particular situation, um, she said her phone was about to get cut off or you know something like that. And she like, you know, I could pay for all my shit. I'm just a little, I was a little down and out right now, you know. So she was like, um, he called and. He like, well, you know, what's wrong with your phone? Because her phone was off. Because I guess she got another phone. And she was like, well, my phone off. Well, can you pay it? Can you pay it for me? And he basically was like, no, that's your responsibility. You know, I'll take you out. Um, shit, you need your hair done or something. I'll take, you know, take you out, get your hair done, whatever. But your phone bill is your responsibility. I'm not paying for that. And um, she, like, just blew the fuck up. Like, well, if that's the case, this nigga don't really. I really don't need to talk, call him. He don't need to. Well, he don't need to call me, cause he can't pay my phone. You don't need to call me on my phone. You know, and she got like a major attitude, and I'm just like, my my thing was if you if you really don't have no type of feelings or no type of connection with this guy, what would make you think that he would be obligated to pay your phone bill? She said he not. She don't need nothing from nobody. She can do everything herself. But at that particular time, she just couldn't, and she feel like if any guy like her enough that they trying to get with her or they like her like that, they need to try to take care of anything she needs done. To me, it sounds like a lot of contradiction. I really don't understand how you can say I could take care of everything by myself, but right now I can't. So you can't. You might usually can, but we're talking about the, you know, it's like current. Can you? Right right now. Right, Bro. so if, if the answer is you can't, then you're not that independent, number one. And number two, that's kind of an ugly attitude to have, you know what I'm saying, as far as you need help. If you need help, the word help is not something you demand from somebody, you know. And it's like her attitude just sounds like she like, oh, well, you go going to pay my phone bill if you want to talk to me. If you can't do that, then, you know, it's like who wants to help somebody with that kind of attitude? 
And I, and that's what I was telling her. I mean, I, I told her basically, it's, it's obvious what the guy is trying to do. You know, he's basically like, you know, if you don't fuck with me like that, then I do whatever you need necessary. But if you're not really fucking with me like that, that's your that's your issue right there. Let me do what I want to do. When I want to see you, I'll take you out. When I want to see you, I'll get your hair done. When I want to see you, but that right there I'll is your buy you out, but you Don't know, call me. But but that's because you're not with me. If you would conform to what I want you to do, if you'd be with me, then I would give you the world. Or I'd pay for all that. And and, and and she like, I don't want that, but he's supposed to still do it because he's supposed to feel this way about me. And any man that feels that way about me should do that for me. And see, the reason that's ridiculous is because that's she don't even fun. have no freaking feelings for him. I mean, I could see it if, now here where I can understand, I could see it if, she was seriously trying to be involved emotionally with him, and then she feels that he was giving her that kind of pretense that he's trying to be seriously and emotionally involved with her, and then he didn't want to help her. Then I can understand her being a little disappointed. Not going to fuck up attitude, but I could see her being disappointed. Mm-hmm. And I could even see her um, making a decision based on, you know, how much she believes that he cares and how emotionally invested he may or may not be. But if she mm-hmm. really saying like I don't even like him like that, and I just want to use him for my benefit, he using her for his benefit. So I feel like they are coming out even, and if she's so independent, she needs to pay her phone bill. Oh, like, hey, well, hey, well, hey, well, hey, well, hey, well, hey, well, hey, hey, well, 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 Am I the only yeah, one here? No, hang up the call right back because mine was like that. It was horrible. Okay. That's why well, I whoever to just moved or whoever just put their leg up and stuck it out the window, that was it right there. There it goes. <laughs> gone, huh? You got good connection. It ain't me, y'all, because I got my phone on mute. So. Oh, there it goes. I don't know. Back. That sounded like that was possible. I that sounded like it's still it possibly your phone. I'm not sure, though. But, yeah, it, it's, it's gone now, though. But, you know... Okay, actually, uh, y'all talk for one second, all right? I'm about to go in the car room right quick. Y'all talk for one minute. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, I was, you know, what I thought it was KD, I was like, what if my man came and offered you money all the time and I asked you for some pussy? Would it be bold if that was how he felt? It wouldn't be bold if that's how you cut. See, that's what I'm saying. It's just like people got to make sure they're on the same page, flat out. You know what I'm saying? If that's the way you cut, then it shouldn't be a problem for neither one of y'all. But if you're not, you can't force that shit on nobody, though. You just can't force that shit on nobody, though. That's what I was trying to tell you when he when he brought it up to me. We was talking about. I'm like, man, that big girl crazy. Yeah, she gonna fuck around and get hurt. Yeah, I mean, at the most, she gonna get her feelings hurt because somebody will be to just stop messing with her altogether before they even have to go there. And and really tell her how they feel. Yeah, that'd be like. There we go. Hey yo, we got we got Kaboom online right now, so I'm gonna bring her in and I'm gonna let her tell her own story, so that way we can give our you know opinion on it, because I may have been opinionated in the way I I said it. Okay, that's so we are that, Yeah, so we'll listen to her. Let me throw her up in this motherfucker. Yo, Kaboom. What's up? What's up? Yo yo. What's up? What's up, Kaboom? You got ready, yeah. Hi everybody. Hey, you got laid back like a motherfucker. I understand what everybody doing. Good. Well, we need to good. put your hands on top of the sheets until we get done talking to you, girl. Say that again. <laughs> I said you gonna have to put your hands on top of the sheets until we get done talking to you. <laughs> Be <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't play I mean, under the right, cover. Nah, <laughs> nah right. are you I, playing I on really the really Go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't. I didn't really want to uh, have to try to, you know, narrate for you because I may have been opinionated with my story. So, could you kind of let us in on the situation that we were discussing? Okay. Um. You lie. You lying to me if your hands ain't under the sheets. You better wake up, damn it. I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not under the sheets. No okay, bed at all. <laughs> Fucking with you, Kaboom. Come on with it, baby. No, this is how the story goes. Talking to this guy, and it's been a minute. 
We've been out a couple of times. Uh, Larry has his own opinion. Um, no doubt. The guy been trying to get at me. Um, I don't want to talk to the guy. I don't like him like that. I mean, I like him as a friend. We talk. He asked me to do something. I'll go take him here, do whatever. He want me to go to his kid's graduation. We done been here and there. So anyway, he has independent. I'm very independent. I pay all my bills by myself. I take care of myself. I take care of my kids. Don't nobody do nothing for me. And we all fall short sometimes. Right. Um, okay. My phone bill went off. He called and he said it like nasty, like why your phone bill off? If and I was telling him, if you any kind of man, you got interest in me. If I fall short anywhere, you should pussy or not. You know what I'm saying? You got interest. I, I I mean, he it's up to him. But if you got interest in me, I think yeah, you should. Even though you got to interest in him. I'm not, I'm, I, I can't, okay, I can't well, understand. I'm not, no, I, I, well, I'm I'm not, not saying he should, but if you want to talk to me and I, I can't pay my bill, but you questioning me like, uh, well, yeah, he don't got a lot of questions. That's why I understand. And I'm not yeah, saying that's, that's, he that's, that's, had that's to pay the whole me. bill, but it was like, baby, your phone and off, can, you, can I give you some help on it or you need some help on it? Somewhere in there I was looking for the, you know what I'm saying? Okay, kaboom, kaboom. I feel you yeah. on the him questioning you because I know, like, back in the day when people used to criticize anything about us, we would say, well, shit, if you don't like it, buy me a new one. That was just buy me like, a new one, right. right. You might want right. your hair ain't done. That you know what I'm saying? You know I don't comeback. walk around like this. I'll fall short somewhere. You, okay. you want to get it done? Well, listen, listen, this is what I'm trying to understand, though. Now, if you don't have any romantic interest in this man, you expect him to have the type of responsibility toward you as somebody that you feel like you're going to reciprocate some kind of feelings for. Uh-huh. And it doesn't sound like you have any intentions on doing that at all. It sounds like you know right from the rip that you don't have those feelings for him, but yet still you yeah, don't have to play in no position. Push. And I ain't talking about sex. I'm just talking <laughs> about reciprocating the feelings. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like you know that you're not going to reciprocate the feelings. So it's almost kind of unfair for you to expect him to play the role of someone that may have I don't want anybody to play the role because right now I'm going through something, and that's the whole thing. I really oh, have God. no interest in no men. I mean, I'm going out um, just to do something. Serial dating. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, serial dating. And I don't have interest right now. I don't. I don't know what later on may bring. I'm gonna try that shit. Just serial but, day. That's a title for this so shit. So shit. So should every guy that you serial dating with help you out when you Do fall short? Do so you no. really have no personal interest? No, no. I didn't so what say makes that. him special? What makes him special? Yeah, because you don't like yeah, him. Makes, yeah, because you don't yeah, like him. Makes, yeah, so what well, makes? Yeah, because he asked that. He asked that because, dumb ass question in the way he asked. He, he why, why your phone? Why your phone on? He, he asked that question like he was Big Willie. Shit. Right, he, <laughs> he, he is. Out. He is. He said well, I'll pay for well, what shit. I'll well, pay for Big Willie. Yeah, but that's your shit. He should. He should have answered his own question right after he asked it. True. That's why your phone true. off? Yeah, he should have that dumbass and, 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 question. <laughs> Thank you. And I, and I have a and I have a problem uh, with but, that because, like I tried to explain to my, I would have asked that. I would ask that if I'm out here well, and I'm dating. Though. If you ain't paying attention, yeah, hold on, no, no, it is my business. Right. It is my business if if I'm dating, it's because you know he's trying to get with her. So if I'm dating if someone dating me, and I'm helping her out, if I'm you. dating and I'm helping her out, is she an independent woman that take care of all her own her shit? Out. I you think that's a valid ass question. Why the fuck ain't this independent woman shit on? I think that's a very valid fucking question. Never that. Number you one, you can't explain why that because everything shit happens. I mean, to you ain't dead. I get my phone. I pay. So why she couldn't answer like that? Why she couldn't answer like that? Why did it have to be shit? Did you go bad? Why she couldn't answer what you just said, bro? Because 
just because she going out with him and just because he's choosing to help her in the way he wants to help her, that does not automatically give him a right to question her as if though he has some kind of authority over her finances if he's not the one responsible for her finances. Now, but she ain't could, nobody heard on, how that nigga voice was. Let me finish. Let me finish. She could, and I'm not going to talk like you're not here, Kaboom. You could, though, really look at how this is looking. If you're accepting a certain amount of, um, I'm not just talking about just the dates, because when you go on a date, you both benefit. So if that's what he wants to do, that's right. his choice. But if he ever gives you money or if he ever assists you in any kind of way, getting your hair done or stuff like that, and you accept it, you know what I'm saying, you are putting yourself in some kind of position, in a position where, I know that. where he where... feels that he has, you know, maybe more say than he should. And see, that's uh... where you draw the line at. You draw that line. You define right. it. You can't out of one side of your mouth be independent and on the other side have your hand out. Now, if you're going through something, I understand I that also. I never asked him to get my hair done. He offered, he said that. I never, you know what I'm saying? I, I, like don't, if anybody I don't think offers her hand was up. Me, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to take it. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm I don't think her hand was up. I my own hair. I don't ask for nothing. He put his okay. mouth here when he said, why your phone off? Excuse me? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you hear you, you, you you the bill wasn't paid. Right. You, 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 you hear the aggravation and the irritation in her voice. If Thank he asked you. like that, like I said, right. his next quote or sentence or statement after that was, well, how much you need. Right. Because he shouldn't Thank ask on that. That's all it was. I'm not looking like this, I don't go around this, asking this, me I'm a, I'm a, to buy me, buy I'm me. A, I buy myself. And it, right. I'm a firm you believer. Do, if you date somebody you and you're do. trying to get with them, if you see there's a problem, you don't you don't wait for them to ask you to fix the problem. You go ahead and you be Thank proactive you. and take care of it. All right, now hold on, now flawless, now flawless. Why you hey, sucking you got, on titties? Let me ask you this too. Sucking on titties. Let me let me let me let me ask you this too, homeboy, because you ain't getting no pussy off this phone tonight. So let me ask you this too, okay. homeboy. How okay. the fuck how okay. the fuck you feel? How the fuck you feel about you going out with a woman, doing everything that you talking about? But you know damn okay. well you ain't never getting no pussy, and she ain't never going to be yours, and she expecting <laughs> you to help her out the same fucking way. You still that same nigga, huh? But I'm you still that same nigga to a certain You just passing out. 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 You just passing out knowing that you ain't never about to get shit. Nothing. Okay, how about no. this? How about this? I mean, let me, let everybody me find play the out fool why once or twice, and I don't necessarily play as Look at it playing the little, playing the fool. If you going if you a certain person today, be that person tomorrow. Don't change because the person that you're dealing with is not receiving your actions the, the particular way you want them to be received. Because if that's be the yourself case, every, all the way around. That's right. Be yourself all the way around. If I'm gonna deal with you because I'm the type of person that's generous, I might sweep your flow. I might come by and cut your grass. I might buy you, you a drink every time I see you. I don't expect you to do anything in return, but it would be very nice. It would be a hell of a gesture for it to happen. If, you, if, if the guy is just that type of person. I'm not understanding what it's saying. It's, it's got to be anything to do with it. It's, it's just like it's a woman. Every time you go hey, to a woman. Hold on, hold on. You as long as they got the KD, let them get this crazy shit out so we can chop it. <laughs> it's just like you go ahead, go ahead. And you, and you, she, every time you go, miraculously, you go on whenever dinner is fixed. <laughs> but you ain't walked in with a grocery bag now, now time. That shit again. Who, who does that? Who but does that? A lot. So what, it's a lot. lot of people. So what the hell? What the hell that got to do? How? 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 What is that? What is that in relation to what we talking about now? That's what I'm not getting. Be, be, because it ain't a, it ain't about make. the particular. It's, it's not about the specific gift. It's about the gesture. That's what I'm trying to get over with. Just, just it could be I dinner. Think. It could. It it could be changing your tire. You calling me every time your cat gets struck in the tree. It don't matter. It don't matter. Okay, let me get a minute so in. Let me get a minute in real quick. Right, let me get right, a minute right, in real quick. Right, right, right. quick. Usually the way you can figure out whether something is fair is you flip it. So let's flip this situation and just make yeah. it be about the sex. Let's make it seem mm-hmm. like there's a woman who always giving a man the sex, and she ain't never helping her do anything. Now, if that stuff right. came mm-hmm. up, the big old problem would be he she shouldn't have he shouldn't have to give her something or pay for stuff. You know, they both benefiting from the sex. 
so that's the same thing. If they both benefit from each other's company when they're going on dates together and they're having fun in each other's company, he's a grown-ass man who's voluntarily making this decision to take her out. So it's not like she's doing anything wrong by the benefits of it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, if he don't want to do it, ain't nobody twisting his arm to do it. He's doing it because he want to do it. And obviously, sex is not an issue for him. He obviously just enjoys being around her because if it was, he would have seen he ain't getting none and he would have stopped by now. So I don't understand why he's coming into it. Now let me ask ask you this. Okay, with all this being said that y'all done said, all I've been hearing is what he want to do, and if he want to do it, he want to do it. He don't want to fucking pay the phone bill. Why is that a big-ass problem? She don't need shit. He helping other ways. Why is that and a big-ass problem? We said it wasn't a problem. I paid my own the question. No, he that was a problem because, 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 because that's he what you expect the question. from if anybody that likes you. Hold on. He if already he knew what it was when he called. The phone was off. Right, and if he didn't want the responsibility of paying the phone, and he, it and he didn't feel like it, if it wasn't his concern, he why the fuck did he question her about it? If he didn't Thank have you. any concern for why it's on and how it's going to stay on and stay off or whatever, he shouldn't have questioned about it. Just like if somebody asked you why the fuck you're about it. Y'all motherfucking serious. Serious as a heart attack. On your side. <laughs> as a heart attack. Is y'all motherfuckers serious. I don't think she should expect and, him to pay the phone And, 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 and you because. telling me that every motherfucking bitch you done ever dated in your entire life, you still be, be paying them and buying them shit and doing everything you was doing when you dated them and your new current girl, if you got one, don't give a fuck because you've been doing that because that's what you do. Whatever you because did when you dated the motherfucker, you. when y'all, when y'all, when y'all two, two, three, five people like, like you still paying for shit and you still keeping the lights on even though you ain't even in the fucking crib no more. You just keep your shit the same. Yep. I feel you. It's but it. all the other motherfucking shit, uh-uh, come on. Y'all are some motherfucking crazy bullshit. Ain't no way in hell you gonna tell me that if I'm, d- okay, I like this motherfucking woman, she don't give a fuck about me, I'm trying to, I'm doing this for, I didn't for a reason. I didn't give a fuck I about did. him. I still do stuff I, for him. I go take his kids here and do this. and yeah. I do things for him. See, it depends on and he do things for you. And he, and he do things story. for you. So why was it a big issue about And I wasn't looking for him to pay the phone bill. He put his foot in there. He stepped in there. Right. That, that's the, that's, my, called, that's my thing right there. That's my thing me. right there. I didn't yep. call him. I didn't call him. You you fell to understand. I didn't call him. My phone would have been off till I paid the bill, and that's what happened. My phone was off till I paid the bill. Like you should have. But when he questioned me, I said, what, do you want to pay it? He said, no. Okay. All right, so why was it a big deal after that? that? That's, 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 that's my whole point about right there. That. 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 If you wouldn't have asked with, such, ask with, with such concern, you was asking for a reason, so you you you, you should have went ahead on with the thing. My my whole thing is when I teach young guys to ask women out on dates, don't ask a girl out on a date if you ain't got the money. Thank you. Well, that's a whole no other thing. My whole thing right, is but we I go- mean, how dare you? How dare you ask me why isn't my bill paid? And you actually don't have no he, intention on helping. He didn't me. It's have like, that. Why he said, are you asking? He said, he what, what's up with your phone? phone? Why your phone ain't on? He ain't say, why well, your bill ain't paid? Hey? Well, that's two plus two for that's, four. If your phone right. is off, it's because it wasn't paid. So it's the same question. Same so thing. He asked oh, so him, he asked him, why ain't your phone bill or why ain't your phone on? To me, when same people thing question why you like ain't that, paid. yeah, if somebody's going to question you like that, usually they feel like they have a right to question because they're about to help you. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't usually see people asking questions like that and they ain't going to help nobody. I usually help don't right. see that. I don't see he that. He said he was going to help He said he was going to help He said, I do some other shit, buddy. He said, I do what? some other shit, buddy. Oh. You don't need to talk to me no more. Hey, hey, time out one more hey, time. Mr. Cushionberry, why don't you go through the mute buttons and find out where the static coming from so we can fix that. All right, all right. And then as soon as you say it, the shit stopped. That's a funny yeah, ass it shit. Stopped. It stopped. It's perfectly silent now. Okay, as long as we good. Is it going on? Everybody in now? It's there again. Yeah. Keep all coming in and out. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I don't get it. 
I'm going to find it. We're going to say, hey. Did somebody say somebody got a flag on? He said, does anybody have a fan going? Yeah, that can cause static sometimes. No, I'm sitting in the car, so. There's a ceiling fan on in here. Hold on one second. Stay here. Hey, you know, they got cell phones you can put in water now. Okay, just go away. This is Kiki. I turned my ceiling fan off. Is it going away now? Yeah, it's gone now, yep. Wow, that might have been what it was. Every time I cut Kiki off, that shit disappears. The most time I've been sitting here with my phone on mute. It might just be the connection. Why don't you just hang up and call right back? Okay. Because I had a real messed up connection when I first called. It was horrible. It was horrible. It was like, oh, my God, I can't go through the whole show like this. So I'm glad it was rectified by doing that. I hope it clears up. But as a matter of fact, I'm going to call back, too, just to make sure. Okay. That's for sure, for sure. Man, I have some other shit to fucking talk about, too. I can't fucking remember. Fuck. You write it what down. You yeah. out? That shit definitely gone now. Nah. That shit definitely <laughs> gone. Hold on. What? What you were sipping on? No, I talked about that static when both of them hung up. Kiki. Kiki. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, it sounds okay. clear. Love it. All right, I'm good now. Nah. Yeah, I'm good. I don't hear it now. Nah. Okay. We all just had a bad connection. Sorry about the technical difficulties. That must be a TV or something. That got to be a TV. It just started up again a little bit. You heard it? You still hear it? Yeah, there it go. It just started Man. up again. Who, who is it then? What the hell? Oh. It, it, it's probably just a bad okay, connection, period. Say something, Flawless. Yep, yep. Check. One, Kiki two, three, Mike, motherfucking Kiki, check. Kiki muted. Kiki muted. I'm about to put it back on. Kiki, say something. Yeah, there it goes. Hello? What, you hear it again? Yeah, Hello? Yep, I hear it right yeah. now. Yeah, it got to be you, Kiki. It got to be. Hi, okay, well. Kiki, what we need you to do is we need you to stand in the north corner. It's not me. Lift your left leg up Put your right thumb in your booty That's too much Put your finger up in the air (laughs) You look like a Statue of Liberty Uh uh Y'all silly Well I guess I'll get off so it won't bother y'all Oh no No no, you ain't got to go nowhere You good no Yeah it ain't as bad as it was anyway I don't know why my phone doing that I got Sprint that's why. That's probably what it is. Ah. Don't worry about it, though. You probably got a year on your contract left. Don't even worry about it. We'll take care of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Get you the GCR type mobile and shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, so let's get back to the whole motherfucking hookup because, kaboom, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, because you said you actually wanted to answer the question. Are independent women needed? You said I wanted to answer it. Yeah. I said everybody in need of some help. Anybody say they not? It's difference between being needy and being in need because you could be in need temporarily, but neediness is something that is like almost like a characteristic. And right. You're always needing, always in need. Like I said, I pay my own bills. Don't nobody help me. I do it myself. And I don't you ask, ask the handout. Hey, you don't ask no. nobody, uh, is lunch on them? When uh, they speak and mean, say, you know? uh, one day we're going to go out to lunch. Okay, is lunch on you today? Uh, you promised. Uh, those were not my words. <laughs> no, I was just, I was just asking you. Asking I've seen that, that question, though, doesn't make you else, needy. I've seen. It might just make you want to get clarity so that you know how much money to bring. I mean, 
Okay, now what about if you always asking a question similar to that? Not even about if food, you, always, you know. I mean, if you always or going if, out you know, with some people and you want to know the status of your date, I mean, I don't think that's making you needy if you're asking if you're going to pay. <laughs> now, if you're telling somebody, I want you to take me out to lunch, meaning you're you're just always asking somebody to pay, then that might make uh-huh. you needy. But getting clarity mm-hmm. is not making you needy because you can always rectify your position by bringing enough money to either cover the whole date or pay for your half by knowing whether or not that person was already going to pay it. That's just getting clarity. Okay. But there are what about people that? always begging. What about, damn, my car down? I need a car. <laughs> that shit is like. My mama used that's to not that. begging. That's not begging either. That's not no, begging wait, either. Wait. That's I ain't saying nothing about that. That's just talking to yourself. That's just talking to yourself. I'm trying to, to get clarity me. now. She that's used to call say this about people that do that. Yeah, that's if you <laughs> that's what you you use the pool. That's what that is that's right there. It depends on And if you get always similar stuff like that. No, if you always got problems and you always asking somebody else to do for you, then you're needy because mm-hmm. you're not making no effort to try to help yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you're working on helping yourself and you need help in addition to what you're doing, then that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do the best you can, and if that's not going to be good enough, then you should be able to lean on somebody. That's what God put us here for, to help each other out or be here for each right. other in some way. But if you're not so doing a cool. damn thing to help yourself and you constantly I, I, I ask I like how you said that. You. Lean on me. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, you should be lean on me so hard at the table, bro. All the time and you're not helping yourself <laughs> at all. I can't stand that. So that's a, you, is, that kind, is that kind of needy? That's needy, but that takes away from the independent. That's why I thought it was an oxymoron yeah. in the first place because if you're independent, mm-hmm. you're not needy. You know, right. now you could be, so you could be, you could be financially independent and emotionally needy. You know, right, right, or vice versa. Right. You know, but right. as far as right. being but financially being stable, needy. yeah. But as far as being financially stable, and, like and that's where it come in that everybody is in need of something. But so but, 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 but like but so like she, but like Katie the, said, to being in need and, make and come being to needy. The conclusion, what it shouldn't be what. People shouldn't be called independent then, right? If everybody in need. But no, no, not no. everybody. No, no. Na- not, not everybody is extreme. needy. Right. There's not an extreme to the word independence all the time. There's not a word. It's like basically you could be independent. You can have a job. You could be responsible for all your bills. But you can get three flat tires, and that can exceed what you normally allot for financially. And that could put you in a position where you're in need of help, Right. Now you're in not need, you, not needy. That, right, right. That does right. not make you needy. That just means you're in need. And that does not take right. away from the fact that you're independent because you're still independent. independent. But when you don't right. do what you can to help yourself and you are able to, you know, it's one thing when you're not able, like if you're disabled, mm-hmm. but if you are able to help yourself and you just fucking refuse to do it because you want everybody else to do it for you because somehow you feel so self-entitled that, you know, um, everybody in the world is supposed to do stuff for you and you're supposed to sit on your ass and just receive, receive, and take, 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 then not only are you needy, but you're trifling, you know what I'm saying? And and it's begging, like, cute nowadays because, like, I see it. It's like it used to be a time where a woman felt too much pride to beg a man for anything. She felt like she shouldn't have to ask. And now it's oh, them like days is over. somebody think it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's constantly asking for shit. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I, 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 think, I think I thought maybe Kaboom kind of felt me on the not having to ask for certain stuff. I don't know if that's what you were going right, with Right, I did. I felt but, you on that. You shouldn't have to ask. If you a man, if, you know what I'm saying, you had some interest, I think you should... And I say a woman shouldn't expect, though. You should never be Right, and I, I, like I that. say that, too. A woman shouldn't expect. You don't know. But, but, and you but, shouldn't but, say. I have you a question for the women. Go ahead, Kiki. Why should we not expect anything from the Jews? Jews always expect we're supposed to give them some booty. Right. No, but you ain't getting her. You ain't getting her. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to correct. Wait a minute. Hold on, McClady, KB. 
You're not in class. We don't say booty. We say pussy ass fuck. Oh that's that's, that's how that go. <laughs> okay, thanks for right. uh, that. Thank I ain't you. heard well, no. I ain't heard no motherfuckers. No fucking. Y'all are fools. Okay, so like this. When I say you shouldn't expect, what I mean is you shouldn't set your expectations to the point where you're dependent on somebody else to do something, and if they don't do it, then you're assed out. So. In other words, you should always have your bases covered some kind of way. And if somebody does something, fine, and if they don't, you cover. But oh, well, right. you shouldn't settle you. either. You should not be with somebody who can never, and it, ne- it doesn't necessarily have to do with sex, money, or whatever. Whatever your your wants and your desires are should be something that's met by the person that you're with. That's why I keep saying people need to get to know each other. Y'all don't never want to hear me when I talk about formulating a chemistry between somebody to where things are not a burden or obligation. When you find somebody who truly cares about you, they don't mind doing shit for you. You don't mm-hmm. have to ask them. If they're able, yeah. they're going to do what they can, and that's the whole thing. Men and women. Here lies your comments and your problem. She's serial dating. She's just not exclusively dating this motherfucker. Well, so I what you're saying is man. absolutely correct. <laughs> I, I'm with you. I'm 100 with what you're saying. But if he was the only guy she was dating, I feel you. And then just to flip it back to where I was going, a real mm-hmm. man, a real man, when they ask questions in that magnitude, they are prepared to take care of whatever situation they asked about. That's why they asked it, not just to be right. fucking nosy. Not to be an asshole. Mm-hmm. Right. 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 Not to be and nosy. And also, I mean, when you serial dating, the word dating is dating, meaning movies, dinner, events. Whatever y'all are doing to spend time with each other, but when you go into the finances, bills, you know, allocation responsibilities, you're, you're mixing up. I look for none of that. I don't. I do it myself. I don't. That's what's up, then. You're doing you, and they doing them. And if they like right. taking on dates, enjoy it. You know, mm-hmm. that's their right. choice. Yep. And whatever they choose to spend and do, they did it because they want to. And that's, that's why right. I come back with, I didn't ask you. So don't look for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I give you a prime example. I was dating a young lady, and she had a couple kids, two boys and a girl. I, I every time I seen her, well every other time I can't say every time, but a couple times I seen her with the kids. The little boy's hair wasn't cut. My job ain't mm-hmm. to ask her why the hair ain't cut. I'm a barber. My job is to say, what, what you doing tomorrow, baby? Bring the boys on by so I can at least line them up if they don't want me to cut their hair or take them to their regular barber. I ain't got to pay for it, but I can do it. Same thing. You walk into the bar crib, the grass is up to your nuts. You're going to walk right in and get you some pussy. Nigga, ask if you you cut the grass. That's what a real I'm gonna nigga do. I'm going to get the pussy first. See, what, I'm going to get the pussy well, well, first, then I'm going to get the pussy No, no, well, but that's what I'm going to tell you. Where that fuck up at is niggas do that. Or a, a nigga would do that so I much that the woman expects it. No, a woman expect every nigga to come by. Well, the last nigga came by. He asked. He was. He didn't ask me why my room wasn't painted. He just said, "Baby, what color you want on the wall?" It don't go like that. You got to be receptive to a person that's that open to you. It, it, mm-hmm. It's a, it's a, it's a delicate balance in that. It's it's like walking yeah. on the pipe. But, hey, but you just yeah. you just switched the whole game when you said you got to be receptive to somebody who's open like that to you. That ain't what we talking about. I know I'm. I'm so I, that's I know that, but I'm hell, that, hell, that shit was real, but that ain't what we talking about. <laughs> okay, I forgot we were serial dating, and, and you may not see this motherfucker again. But right, right, but, but you did thing, make a good point the, though. That was the shit. The, the only thing I I, I fought him about is when he asked about the phone bill. If he wasn't prepared to, to fucking pay, he should have just picked yeah, up a can with a string on it and called the bitch. Ask that question. Right and that's all I was trying that. to explain to Cushionberry. Thank you, but you didn't say the motherfucking. You didn't say the motherfucking. Did you please say the motherfucking? Oh, motherfucking <laughs> Cushionberry, thank you. My nigga, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know what's up with him asking that question. That was almost like putting his foot in his own mouth, really. Mouth, and that's what I know I would act like I didn't even know what a phone was. If I didn't want to pay your shit, I would act like I didn't know your shit was off. Right. You know, I would have dropped the letter you, you in your you mail. You know you called the phone. I called your phone. It wasn't on. What did you want me to do? I wouldn't I wrote you a letter, too. Like I knew the shit was <laughs> off. I would have waited till I talked to you and just been like, what's up? You want to go out? I would have right. never even brought this up, ever. <laughs> you know? 
no. You'd be like, no, my phone was off. I'm like, what? <laughs> Flawless would have brought that shit up, though. No, I wouldn't. I'd have, I'd have sent the motherfucking smoke to you. Bitch, I'd have ride up and down the street talking to you, you walk to the store or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like going in the bar. You got women that go in the bar looking for drinks for oh, niggas to buy them so drinks. Funny. I go in the bar to have me a good time. I buy my own drink, and if I see somebody that needs a drink, I will, you need a drink, I will offer a drink. I'm like that. I'm not looking for nothing. Hey, I come in and have hey, me a good I, time. And you got women that come funny. in and look. This this for all y'all ladies. How many drinks mm-hmm. will you accept from one guy before you stop accepting them if you know you don't want to fuck with them? Okay, first of all, how many fingers and toes they got? I don't understand what drinks they got. How many girls they got? How many girlfriends they got? What fingers and toes? Them all them hoes will be drunk. Okay, how many girlfriends they got? For real though, I'm gonna stop drinking when I stop drinking because I ain't gonna try to get drunk like beyond what I would get myself as far as buying my own. But what I don't understand, Larry motherfucking Cushionberry. Is that why uh-huh. does every time a nigga do something for a female, it always gotta be like, and then if he gonna get the pussy? I mean, I don't understand why no, it always no, no, this, no, 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 real like talk, always... now real talk, hold on, hold on, real talk though. Now you already know. Now first of all, to to get a drink or something from a guy ain't shit. That ain't shit. You know what I mean? I ain't making it like that's a big deal. But I oh, mean, okay. y'all got to be motherfucking real. If a nigga Keep buying drinks for your ass. You know what he at least trying to do. And he might even be a creepy nigga. I don't know if he ain't came. But I don't check it out. He he might even be a creepy nigga if he ain't even came over to you and popped at you. So that's what I'm saying. Like, how many oh. drinks you think it's safe to accept before you like, yeah, I, I, I can't. You know what I mean? I don't know. We got to call Miguel. Miguel. We got to call Miguel and find well, out. Well, first of all, if I see, if there's a guy coming toward me and I don't have no interest in talking to him, like, conversation-wise, I would just decline. No, he's sending. He's sending. He's sending. He ain't, okay, she feel me? I'm going to stop all of them until I get high enough to it. I know my name. <laughs> right, right. I'm going to just be like, I what's told, it? I told you, I'm everybody be like, oh, I'm, I'm about to be drunk. Just tell him I don't want to you I'm wrong. Just... You wrong. You oh. wrong. You're supposed to let a person know yeah. what your intentions are. You said exactly. all these drinks saying, okay, I'm going to get me some. Hey, no, 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 come speak to me. Hey, talk to me. Right, these, these niggas out here crazy, man. and y'all going to fuck with these niggas' emotions like that? Real talk? They uh-huh. emotions should not be involved when they go to a bar <laughs> exactly. and buy drinks. Hey, but we ain't talking about shitting. We yeah. ain't talking about shitting because he ain't even walked over to you. He ain't even walked over to you. He just said that he ain't even walked over over to you. Yeah, he's a retarded, helmet-eating motherfucker then. He need a damn helmet. (laughs) If he's sitting over there across the bar sending me shit, he he got something coming and we ain't even spoke to each other. We ain't even spoke. Send the shit to you. No, he's looking at you, though. I ain't making he's, no eye contact. I'm telling the barmaid to tell him I said thank you wherever he is, whoever the fuck he is. Tell him I said thank you. I'm yeah. staring my drink, looking at my ice cubes like I can't even look up. Like my mask here is too heavy. And y'all all going to keep accepting. Mm-hmm. All right, now what you do when the nigga come? What you, what you do? What you do? What you what you do when he come over to you at the end of the night and he ain't your type? Real talk though, real talk. When niggas send drinks from like a fire, they usually don't even be pressed like that. They don't even be trying to come at you. Right. They might come a week later if you a regular right. somewhere, but they ain't even pressed mm-hmm. like that. If they send you drinks like that, they just doing it because they got it like that and they want to just feel mm-hmm. like they're the man. So you know that's they right. take somebody they want to that to. Yeah, that's pretty much right, it. So, they don't even be the ones so like you, that. The ones that stand by your so chair you all night like co- a fucking dog that want to go outside the back door yeah. and, and buy your yeah. things like he your man just because he bought your drink. Them the ones you need mm. to be like, oh, no, thank you. That's the ones you need to be scared of. <laughs> the one that puts the right next to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right next to you. He'd be like locked to your chair like a damn 10-speed on a pole. <laughs> Okay, so how many drinks do you accept from him? They're like, where are you going? <laughs> right. How many right. drinks do you accept from him? You can say no thank you right off rip to him. Because as soon as he starts standing, like, way too close, you already know he thinks he's about to be posted up on you. Soon like, nobody else say nothing to you. And all. Nah, that's some crazy ones right yeah. there. 
That's when you get up and change. Your feet. Yeah, yeah, you relocate. <laughs> you relocate. When you come back from the bathroom, mm-hmm. you don't even go back that way nowhere. You just right. And sometimes you might just need to have somebody escort you out so you can just get the hell on and go to a different bar because some of them look weird enough to do that. Or do what I do. do I'm a lesbian. Them? I'm with her. Oh, yeah, I've done that before. Hey, a, lot that, that's women, funny. a lot of women do that, don't y'all? Yes, uh-huh. yes, we do. I yes, heard your do. grandma home, girl, and I'm with her. This is my bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we're lesbians. I don't even say this shit because hey, I'm like, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> They be looking like he's lying, bitch. Uh, no. I be like, so? Kiss her. Kiss her. <laughs> yeah, let me see. I heard, guys. Let me see y'all That happened again. to me like, before. Sure when I was at the Hell Raisers Motorcycle Club, this dude kept bugging huh. me. He was like, can I buy you a drink? I said, no. I'm with somebody. He like, no, you know, I've been watching you all night. And then have you know, this one chick came and said, I'm, I'm with Jesus. No. And that's what I'm Drew talking about. And she was like, he was like, man, you lying. Kiss her. This girl stuck her throat, that tongue down my throat. I said, see, booyah, I'm with her. <laughs> he didn't believe it, though. Man, some people uh, I'd have said, I'm with I Jesus. I would have been he like. Him, he all around me. He in this table. He in this chair. I would have right shown him my, cell, my cell phone with that shit on emergency dial. Like, I'm with 911. Leave me alone. <laughs> that nigga would have had to get away from me. Hey, y'all let the, uh, y'all let the guy you don't know walk you out? No. Walk into your car. Hell no. I've actually been naive enough to do that before. I've actually, I hate to admit it, but I've actually been naive enough. It has never went wrong because I spent like the whole night chit chatting with somebody and they would pull the tail. And I think I've done that um, more than once before. And I've been blessed because I could be in a Mm. freaking dumpster right now. But um, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, we got this caller online. Let's we'll see who the fuck this is and shit. They've been listening. they just popped in. See who the fuck this is. Yo, yo, DCR, the clinic radio. Who the fuck is this? Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Dynamite. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. What's well, that? What's that? It's at the, it's at the 12 o'clock, so they call, they call me nice, dude. That's the 12. Oh, Dynamite be clowning. <laughs> <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> I wish I would have called a nigga nice thing. What's the up, Dynamite? Oh, okay, no, I was man. about to say. <laughs> My brother. Yeah, if I hear either one of y'all calling him nice stick, that's gonna have me going. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nice stick. Hey. Right. <laughs> you say you've been listening, bro? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, hey, you, what you feel about all this bullshit, man? I'm going to tell you, man, hey, people have to watch out who they uh, sell drinks from. Mm-hmm. They got some but they think there. it's all good. Like, I'm trying to tell them it's crazy, but they like, no, nah, you just go ahead and say, fuck it. Oh. Hey, it's all good. So they, they don't want it. Mm-hmm. They I see it popping up. I do. I break <laughs> even in a minute. I send some drinks back. I swear. Um... I just, I mean... Hey, Gron, you have bugs in the grill you truck or something, nigga? That's why I said, how many drinks do you accept or you be like, no, nah, fuck this shit? That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's Y'all trying to make it all like, yeah, the nigga not. look nice, he's a nice man. Yeah. No, this nigga just over there, like, send a drink. Yeah, send no, a drink. but you know what? I mean, this nigga it's just... Not, it's he, not an isolated weird. situation. It depends on the situation. If the dude look weird, then you could cut it off right off the rip, like I said before. But if it's the same old dude, like, you remember, like, at this one particular bar, at this one particular end of the bar, it'd be the same old cat that sit at that end of the bar. Nah. And I've had them so send me to... drinks before, and we don't even say hi to each other until after that happened, and I'd be like, I'll start saying hi. Because, like, before you that, I wouldn't some, even. You talk right. about some, some specific grade A, you at your spot, you know people. I'm talking about in general. That's what, Maybe that's what y'all ain't understand. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Just so in that's general, nigga just staring, nigga just looking, sending drinks. How many before you like, fuck this? You just said you would send drinks back. So it can't always be infinity. 
Right. If it you depends. see it like that. You want it to be black and white. It's not always the same. It depends. It's right. been guys who offered one, and I just didn't feel comfortable accepting anymore, and I'll have sent one back mm-hmm. just so it's, like, clear that you really didn't send me anything because I sent you back what you said you was drinking. You see what I'm saying? Right, okay. Sometimes well, I, just right. well, 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 I, I, I got one question that I heard somebody say. What? Why does the motherfucker have to look weird? What do weird mean? Well, there is a such not thing your as type. Weird. Not your Even type. Though, no, it's a such crazy, thing as weird. Crazy a little Maybe bit. I told you about the guy. Oh, that, okay. What if, what if he was a nice looking guy? It still depends. What up, still guys? Depends. I'm, I'm online that day. I just got kicked off. I, I, don't, I don't know what? what I'm saying because I just got through watching several. I just got through watching a serial murder, whatever this was, <laughs> and they was just profiling. Jeffrey Dahmer, it was like three or four black guys, and these motherfuckers look normal. Yeah, they don't, they, they don't look. They don't. They don't look weird. And, they don't look retarded or weird until they get that label as serial killer. <laughs> or until they see. got a knife up to your damn Then throat. you can That's see when it. they really look crazy. Right. Because um... I'm quite sure my man that just did the last thing that uh, he 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 was on the police department. He was on the police force and he got fired. I'm quite sure it's a lot of uh, black women that would date that guy. Now, uh-huh. since he's been labeled a serial killer, ain't shit popping. That nigga look crazy, no. Right, yeah, he look crazy <laughs> now. <laughs> so that's why I say, what, what's weird? That's why I say, what's it weird? It was this guy when I, I was I look weird out. after I had two or three beers and a fucking couple <laughs> shots. Shit. <laughs> 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 Been sweating all night, booty up and in the club. Shit, everybody looks weird. Your hair ain't the way it was when you came in the club. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I so I guess that's kind of, what I guess I guess that's what Christian right. Berry was getting at when he said I how men like right. fuck right. how he looks. Fuck what he's dressed like. Chance. It's taking a chance, then, because sometimes, like I said, you can see it in the eyes, no matter whether they're attractive or not. Sometimes you can't. I mean, you hmm. really don't know. You really y'all, don't. Hey, y'all ever look? Y'all ever looked in the motherfucker eyes that you ain't never seen before, and you can just tell that motherfucker crazy though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When that when that left one went cross out, I was like, oh my bad, I'm talking to the wrong person. <laughs> no, I don't see yeah, guys I mean, who like me and all the girls at the table be like, damn, he look good, and then I say it'll be a joke, but I'll be serious and say I'll be like, that nigga look like he just beat your job. ass just on the strength. I mean, for real, it's guys mm-hmm. that are just like. Like, he just beat your ass just on the strength. And some guys just look like woman beaters. You know, and some guys that look like they Oh, man, that's messed up. Just, I mean, seriously. And they right. could be fine as hell. They could be attractive as hell, but they just got something about them that it just, and it, you could be wrong, though. You know, I'm not that's saying that. That's that Neanderthal here, the problem. So, some you know, guys look that crazy that stuff, that eyebrow that read. It's about the vibe. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to though I be picking up on stuff. So far, I've been really. Wait a minute, who, who said they're Aquarius? Who are an Aquarius? KB, man, we go baby. through this shit every show. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what was the date was? of your birthday? I don't need the year. Um, one twenty-eight. Oh, you at the end? You almost a leap year, baby. I don't know one twenty-eight. Oh, you said January twenty eighth. Oh, okay, you at yeah. the beginning. Okay, I got you. All right, y'all had me right like here. a motherfucker. You who? 'Cause I be like, how is water or air? But I've read it. It still confuses me. Well, it's it's, it's that the air is an easy What's going your... sign. Fire, fire is outgoing. Outspoken. Outspoken. Uh, uh, astrology. Air feeds fire. Water puts out fire. Uh, right. Uh, what is it? Is air uh, fire? It's about the wind. Earth. 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 Yep. Earth sign. It's, yeah, that's all that stuff just confuses the hell out of me. Because when I we see it, the various, the 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 constant. That's a whole nother show, bro. That's a whole nother show. 
Right, because yeah, I, I have no fucking it. idea what y'all talking about. All I know is water sign. Now y'all talking about some air shit extra. I don't know what that. I don't know. See, well, we're see, not a water, water sign. Oh, we're not. a water bearer. We, I mean, right. we're an air sign. But I always thought we was a water sign because of the water that's on our zodiac sign. So I thought that meant right, right, right. we were a water sign. But that's not what that means. Oh, so not, we're a water bearer. So we ain't water but, sign. No, we're air nope. sign. I got, that wa- hey, I got that water for them thirsty ass bitches. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> water, water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Chris well, water. Bitch. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. T.A.T. and Hash Water. That they had an air mouth. Uh, so you already know. Dude, we got the air air mouth. Oh, okay. Got the air mouth. You know what? I never heard. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that was an air man, to tell you the truth. Yep. Me neither, bro. Yeah. They, they yeah. fucked me up to this show. Nah, I ain't going to even go to sleep that? tonight because I'm going to be all on this. Yeah, I'm going to go back and look that up. Yeah, yeah when I'm you do, Google be, all night. Sit down, sit down and hold on to your seat. This old man, you, 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 you might just, yeah, you might learn something about yourself. It would be disturbing. <laughs> Damn. Listen, I don't even know why I want to tell I'm going to tell it anyway, but this old man. Is it freak? Out there, I want to say this old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on my stuff, but that wasn't what I was about to say. The story was huh? about this old dude named Doc that he used to be at the um, bar I used to go to. He de- he deceased now, though, so that's, just, you know. Well, right. But he used well, to right. always spit that shit to me about my sign. What's your sign again? Yeah, you need to find you a so-and-so sign. See, the second sign can't get along with the other sign. And I, I used to hear them and understand right then, but I, I, I forgot. I couldn't retain it. Don't, we we oh, don't get along with Leo's for sure. Taurus is right up your alley. I thought he said Leo's was compatible with me. I thought no, he Yeah, no, because no. I, I, was, I was all off into a Leo, uh, Leo like a motherfucker. Real quick. Oh. No, I think no. Leo's Listen. are compatible with Aquarius. Honestly, no, I think no, that's no, what see, told see, me. See, see, the thing about Aquarius is, is we do what we want to do when we feel like it, how we feel like it. Leo's are very no structured. No doubt. Leo's are, Leo's are very structured. Yeah, but it, but uh, but if you take if you if you take time and you go doing the research on it, most of the astrologers will tell you Aquarius is supposed to stay away from Leo's. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. Every time I read anything about that shit, it always be wrong any I, damn way. <laughs> so, I understand the way. It depends on who you listen to. It just be wrong. It's like, basically, hey, listen to me. Um, I think the Aquarius uh-huh. get along with who they get along with because I think we have a little bit of everybody signing us, for real, for real. Well, well, yeah, what what they do say is we will we will get along with whoever if we want to. But we pretty much get along with everybody. But far as matchmaking and love making and being married, first the first motherfucker that's at the top of the list is Leo. Don't do it. I when you get some time, uh, uh, Lady K D, we'll go over that. Okay, who is the most yeah. compatible sign with Aquarius then? Taurus. Taurus. And who else oh, after hell that? Hell no. Nah. It's a few. It's a few more. Yeah, it's Who's a few. after Taurus? Yep, it's a few more. Yeah, I, I got, a, I got, I got. I can't remember them off the top of the head, but those are the two at the top of the list on both sides. I remember. I can't fuck with no two. I can't fuck with no What's y'all signs? Um, Kaboom and um, Kiki. Kiki. Well, Kaboom is a Pisces. Ooh, the fish. We just left yeah. y'all. We just left y'all. <laughs> we just left y'all. <laughs> I find that I, I find that I Pisces. I bicker, I argue a lot with Pisces, but I love Pisces. My son is a Pisces, but we argue over everything. And usually it's fun, yeah. but we don't mm-hmm. agree on nothing. My brother-in-law and I, we, man, we argue like cats and dogs about stuff, but it's always in fun. We just can't agree on nothing agree on the, ever. Mm-hmm. Pisces that we know it all. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we just love that. Pisces being the age of Aquarius right now. Kiki, Kiki. Leo, Leo, too. Kiki Young. No, no, somebody on. Who is this? Somebody on. This is that one. Who is this? Who the fuck is this? Who is this? Beefy Sugar. What's happening, girl? Beefy Sugar. What the fuck is good? What's your sign is? What's your sign is, girl? Talking about my sign like that. 
What your sign what you? is? Virgo, the best in the world. And Leo's are going to be real, just to let y'all know. Uh, y'all can freak. Uh, I'm Virgo. Y'all can freak. Yes, Virgo we are. Virgo's freak. Yes, we are. Virgo is Shit. <laughs> mm. You say shit. What you I'm mean? No. I'm going to be the whole time. Virgo, I know it. <laughs> you said the person you know ain't no more. So. That's just one of them up for to slip through the crack. He must be a Libra. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know who the fuck that was. Somebody popped off, I think. I don't know. I don't even remember who the fuck we had on. Fuck it. <laughs> Kiki, uh, Kaboom uh what's and a, Dynamite. Kaboom and Dynamite. Okay, Kiki gone. Kiki gone. Okay. She went to sleep. That's what. Uh, I don't know. That shit might have dipped out. Her and B Sugar. No, B Sugar. What's up? What's going on? What's up, oh, no. sugar? What? Good. You, That's good. You've been listening. I've been listening. What you feel well, about what's your sign every is? time? We just Virgo. said so much shit. Virgo. That's that Virgo. Virgo. That's Ugh. free. Oh. Uh, listen to Dynamite. Oh. <laughs> what you feel you about all this shit? You had a bad experience, what? Dynamite. I'm just letting you know you probably had a bad experience. It probably was a Libra, not a Virgo. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, what's your Virgo do, Dynamite? Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing? I, I, nothing. Have, I have one of those. <laughs> none of this. I have one of those. How long, how long you deal with it? Shit, for about two years. Damn. Oh, I thought, I thought he was about to say he married her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> two years. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Flat on I the back. That, bro. They got bed sores. Back just got bed sores all over. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's fucked up, bro. <laughs> what, you, I mean, never. I know you had to get something. You had to get something to be with her. That's not the same thing. Yeah, I mean. Nothing. I mean, it would just Tell be. Tell me the know, truth, dude. Just, just a basic jump in mission. Basic mission. Well, I can't jump. hear you. Extra, no head. Nothing. Hey, how long? How how, yeah. how often? I feel bad. That's a bad name on us. Uh, how often? <laughs> how often, bro? I mean, you know, when we first started, man, I, I was like, oh, she got I don't know, Dynamite. You, you sure your peanut wasn't soft? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Y'all fucking college, though. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But, but how how, how how often did y'all was y'all fucking? Tell you the truth, when we first started. Like right, three or four times a week. That's what's up. What? How long for it? How it, long it, it got for it? You got me. Right? When did it go downhill? I know we were probably doing it too much. I wasn't sure I wasn't taking no breaks at first, but then after that, you know, so <laughs> he said he wasn't um, taking no breaks. <laughs> so you try to stand up about, about, about once a week. <laughs> Yeah, Once I, then, oh, man, I, was, I, was a, I was a fool back then, man. Everybody mm-hmm. on the phone in a relationship, mm-hmm. is there a such thing as doing too much? I mean, for real, is man. there? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. In some instances, oh. I in some instances, yes, I'm, I'm willing to say but that. But yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I plus, if you're not getting a variety out of that one person, it's going to be bored, you know? Well, yeah, it's right, probably right. Be boring if you don't add no spice to it. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't know how you can have too much. Oh, hey, uh, I mean, hey, then, you know, I did a Sagittarius. He's like doing it. You, you can have too much when it don't feel good to you. Yeah, it feels but good that's to me. Why, you, why you? Why you? Yeah, you should why would you want to be with somebody that don't feel good? Yeah, if you're not going to be in that area, you got to act. You, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't know until you feel it. <laughs> but that's that bullshit I be talking about. That person, that. You don't want to come back. All the motherfucking rules, though. That's what I'm saying. If you if you tag it, if, if you got a guy stringing along, you know, you like him, he like you, y'all dating, y'all feeling each other, but he got to wait 60, 90 days, 120, whatever the fuck your little rule is. And then you all into this nigga, and you finally fuck him, and you like hell no. Nah. 
it I is not me. that fucking easy. It is not that easy to be like, nigga, no, nah, because you emotionally attached. Talk, man. That's a, that's that the issue. Movie? Talk. That movie. Let that person know. That movie, whatever that movie was, when that woman was encouraged to uh, read that book and then go a certain number of days. I messed mm-hmm. up a lot of stuff. Because you shouldn't be counting no days. You should be going based on how you how feel. Emotion. You, how, how you, you feel, feel, what you're learning about them, what they learn about you, the compatibility. Period cycle. Shit, that's what I do. I go by the mm-hmm. period cycle. Chemistry. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> you stupid, flawless, for real. I'll take, you, I'll I'll take your course on that. I don't understand. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's chemistry is so important. Like if you ain't got no chemistry, that's what would be messing me up. People be together and they don't even have no, and they know they don't have no chemistry, but they rather not be alone. So they just be around somebody they can't even feel. They don't even but have that together. Sometimes that's that business that back, relationship. That, that go back to that serial date, sense. and you just want to go out. I'm a fun person to be around, so it's not that it's boring or anything. Or, you know what I'm saying? I, I have fun. I, I'll be a friend whatever. It's just no sex involved. That's so boring and lame. No. I mean, I can smell, smell it so much. I can smell it now because I was I, in a relationship and something tragically happened, and I'm just been off for a whole year. So that's all. Not and and I'm guess, just not there and, yet. And, and, and I'm I not there yet. So that's all it is. I understand. I understand that perfectly, but it's still the same thing. But before it's then, it's still the man's choices. It's still the man's choices, I mean, whoever you're going out with. How many times we're going to play Monopoly? How many times we going to sit up and watch? B T and how many how much how many times is that shit just gonna That's happen what I before I can't you don't hey, know that hey, 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 you hey, you date them once, once a week. You, yo flawless, <laughs> flawless. Once you yo. start playing Monopoly, you it's said right. you was gonna continue to play Monopoly. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's what you said. So that's what you got to do. Play Monopoly okay. for the next four years, but you ain't hitting shit. Just so my most I think is, with that being said, I think I'm in stomping nipples and smacking ass cheeks then. I've been the big guy. Okay, I got it. That's why I said, I'm going to fuck her dead cutter grass. I'm going to fuck a dead cutter grass. Because once I done fucked it, then I kind of feel a little obligated to cut a grass. Since that's maybe what I do. You know what I mean? Okay. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. I don't give you some motivation. I don't feel you know, be like I don't, an actor with yeah, some motivation. I, I, I don't I feel you. obligated to. I don't feel obligated to cut everybody's grass because obviously if I'm cutting grass, that's my that's my living. So if I, I got cut everybody that I'm cool with grass, then how the fuck do I make a living? You feel okay, me? So that's you. that's just my train of thought. Well, you know that that is an excellent analogy for that dumbass shit I brought up with cutting grass. But you know <laughs> it, it was just what it was. <laughs> I mean, it could be Maybe. anything. I mean, like but he was talking about the phone bill. You know, you go over there for mm-hmm. breakfast twice out the week, and you come back the third time. And she said, "Well, you know, baby, well, I didn't cook you all the breakfast food I got. I ain't got no more." Well, me thinking well, the type of smart ass motherfucker I am. When I come back the fourth time, I got a bag, you know, with eggs, grits, and some milk, and right. you know what I'm saying? I got all that. I'm going to drop it you off. You know what I'll never hear y'all right. talk about? Right. You know what I'll never, ever hear y'all talk about? And I, right. I hope y'all don't um, get too mad, but oh, I always shit. hear, yeah, you know I don't give a fuck. But anyway, <laughs> it's was- like, um, you know how y'all always talk about, I'll do this if I get this. I'll do this if she do that. Or she could do this if I do. Whatever happens, literally, to doing something to make somebody else feel good and that making you feel good. I cannot tell because, y'all how many times hey, I ain't got. Hey, I'm, I'm not finished. I'm not. Hush, hush, hush. I just, I just hush, said hush, that. Hush, 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 hush. I'm not Larry finished. Larry said he I'm wants the pussy part. I'm not finished. I said I was going to cut first. I'm not finished. I am not finished. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I remember clearly being excited about doing something to make somebody happy. And, like, my heart just beating like it's going to jump on my chest because I cannot wait to see the expression on their face from the happiness that I'm trying to bring to somebody that I care about. Why does that not – now, tell me, am I being too old-fashioned about that, too? No, because when I want to tell you, good, good. that's how I, I be. I be smiling like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, I want to know what what, yeah, what, what, what happened after. You said you remember when it used to make your heart flutter. Now, what what happened to you that made you stop doing it and made your heart start fluttering? Because obviously it ain't happening no more. Um. Well, after about twenty some years of marriage, um. And you burn therefore, out. So you... <laughs> therefore, after 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 that long, um, some things did happen, and then that all went away. But it happened for a very long time before it went away. Now, uh, Lady KD, here, here's where I was just expressing myself earlier about you shouldn't let one bad apple change the whole bag of apples just because you did it for 20 years straight and, and you got burnt. That's not that's not an open invitation for you to change who you are. So you let I that haven't. person change. Yep. Oh, I haven't. Yep. I, I haven't. That's Stay why I'm encouraging them. everybody else to do that. Because if I was bitter, I wouldn't be encouraging other people to do that. I would be encouraging people to try to be selfish, and that's what I'm trying to find out. Why does everything have to revolve around what I'm going to get out of it and the self-gratification instead it, of it, doing right, something here to make life. somebody else happy? Me. That's all. Oh, I what you say? Right. What, you, what, you, what, what you say, Dynamite? Man, everybody do something to, everybody expect to get something out of whatever they do. Yeah. Uh, something I'm, from, I'm something like, from that other person that. or something personally. It's always an ulterior motive, it seems like, and that's what I don't like. I don't like well, to hear people that, always see, be on arterial motives, male or female. I feel like you should be in your heart. But you know what? In my situation, in my in my situation, I I just ain't particularly one of them guys that want to be out here, or maybe don't have the means to be out here trying to uh, help everyone that I know with everything that they need help with. You know what I mean? Exactly. I might not be in that motherfucking situation. I might not be in that situation to do that because, I mean, if we just friends and that's all we are, then that's why I said I don't really he see where the obligation comes. If you, you, if, you, if, you can do it, if you if you if you can do it, then you do it out the kindness of your heart. But right. what I'm saying is this: if, you not, if you're not if you're not doing it, if you're not, but the whole it's thing is if you if you do. if if you got something that connects you, then that makes you want to do something. So if right. I want pussy, then oh, if you go. give me some See? pussy, then, I, then after that, okay, check it out, check it out. Now we mm-hmm. fucking, now we fucking. So we fucking, yeah, I'm going to cut her grass. Ain't no motherfucking problem. But again, you know what I mean? It ain't, I'm cutting it. First. But it, it, ain't, it, it, it ain't, but she, peep it. But you making it sound like every time I'm about to cut you the grass, I got to cut the like ass. It. You just made no. it sound like you, you no. just said so we, no. you did. So we you now did. we emotionally invested. Now we now we physical. You know what I mean? Now we yeah. off into some shit. So yeah, now I feel like it's certain obligations and things that if I can do it, I'm gonna try to do it. And it's not because yeah, tonight I'm about to get. It's just I know I can. I know we at that level. So again, now I'm again, willing to I'm open not, up. I'm not saying that you. What I'm saying is, that are you trying to tell me that you are unable to open up to any person? And I'm not talking about several. I'm talking about one. You can't open up to one yeah. person to do something to make them smile unless you're getting some yeah. ass. Yep. And I'm not talking about no. feels. I'm not talking about no. money. I'm not talking about no. nothing like that. I'm talking about no. making somebody else feel good, making them I smile. Can do that. Okay, that's I what can I do that, but about, I, 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 can't I, do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that multiple times to the same person if it ain't something else that I'm invested in. If it's your motherfucking oh, mom, me. it's your motherfucking mom. You invested in family, and who the fuck she is? You do anything for her motherfucking ass whenever she asks you. If it's your if it's your dog, you'll do it if you can. But you you can't go take yourself out the water for another motherfucker. How the fuck do that sound? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. everything I has would, a certain limitation. So child. it depends on how far you are invested. I'm, no, I wasn't talking about, about taking her. Her. It, it, it ain't. I just it ain't to make it smile. It be, Buying a car from the be, damn store it just just say I was thinking about you. Oh I'm no! About this little, this no, it, that, that, make shit like smile. that. Shit like shit like that. I do for motherfuckers that like 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 I just said like your moms or if if, if it's like a chick or something that you hitting that. Yeah, I might even think of that. But but, just, but you still got to get the pussy before you cut that grass, though, right? All I'm saying is flawless. You will not be receiving a motherfucking, <laughs> hey, how you doing? I wonder what you was thinking, car, from me. I got, I, I'm, I'm just fucking with yeah, you, I, man. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 
Hey, Paul, we, you will not be receiving one of them motherfuckers. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. Everybody got their certain limits, and everybody got their certain place in your life. Everybody ain't the same. I cannot. I will. I can't treat every friend the same. Every friend has their certain limit or limitation. Every family member has mm-hmm. their limit and limitation. True. I you know what I mean? I just I, I, someone. I was just saying. Can't, now, yeah, that's listen, someone. Listen. A special someone is something I'm working up on or something that I already got. And that's the same thing. But it's not just a special someone like, fuck it, I just want to tell Flawless I was thinking of him. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Hey, hey, I I got something for y'all. If I needed my grass cut, Christian Berry, and I'm your friend, you wouldn't come cut my grass and know you weren't going to get no ass, and I was just in need because my grass is up to the... uh... And, and you know what? You know what? If you was my motherfucking friend and it was like that, then hell fuck yeah, I would do it because I'm invested as a friend. But, 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 but if I'm trying no, to get in and that's, that's why I'm nice, trying to talk to you, I mean, it's always <laughs> best. Wait a minute. So you mean to tell hey, me that you would cut grass for free for a friend because they're your friend, but you could you could care about a female and she's not your friend, and you wouldn't cut her glass because you're not getting no ass? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Well, what I said saying? was, if I'm, if, I'm up, if, I'm, if I'm working up on it, then, yeah, I'm going to cut that motherfucker because I'm working up on it. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to do. And, and I see that it's an open life. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's why I'm trying to do it. But if I'm already hitting it, if I'm if I'm already hitting it, no, no, ain't no open light, ain't no open light. But anyway, um, the light gotta be open. If the light ain't open, then my intentions is is a waste of time. If I'm trying to get with you and I know that you locked solid and you ain't fucking around, then it's a waste of fucking time. Real talk. Because I'm not I'm not here to be, I'm not here to be your friend. No, this is some. No, this was something that I just heard. Like in my, I think right here, but you know what I mean. I'm just like, and no, not on that tip. But if I'm trying to, if I'm the trying to work on it, yeah, I got my right? headphones on. Oh, I got <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> Hey, you know what? Though? You, you know what? That, that's why I love a lot of women. Fuck with that woman right in front of me. Hold on, uh, I can't hear you. Flaw was playing. Uh, Grand Theft Auto or something. Oh, okay. And you know, a lot of women turn help down because they think men are trying to get into their panties, you know, like trying to get some ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, don't nobody want to be taken advantage of for nothing. I don't care if it's ass. I do. Money. Take advantage of me, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. The reason why I say that is if I realize you're taking advantage of me, I'm going to take every opportunity to take advantage of you. Nigga, you echoing like a like motherfucker that. like you in a hall. Is it done? Is it over with now? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Now, what was you saying, KD? But I, I feel him on that. You be up. You know what I mean? I feel him. I don't know. Ahead, I guess know. I just be um, too much of a romantic. I swear I think I am. Because I just feel like... I mean... Certain things come in certain order, and it just sounds like love don't come first no more. It's not like sex is starting to come before love, and that's weird to me. To me, love yeah, comes first. I mean, love comes first, then doing love something for somebody that you love. love. <laughs> and that's why people I mean, I'm just really being fucking real. people so much, because they end up no, messing around with people no, that they don't I love. Can, I, I would rather regret sex with you before we emotionally involved than regret sex with your ass after I'm all the way in. Like, damn, this my girl. <laughs> this my motherfucking bitch. You know what I mean? This my motherfucker. And now I got to go out here and I got to get something better than this shit because this shit is bad. Because then it sucks. I feel you on that too, though. I do see Because that's man. no different than what Donna might say. Like, I like the old girl, but, you know, shit changed. And, and 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 I ain't gonna tell. In, in a past experience of mine, I felt the same way. Like you know, this is what I wanted, and I want this. But the shit wasn't what, what I wanted when it all came to you know what I mean. Came to play, just like old boy said. So I feel it, and that's why I always say, no, I'm not talking about telling like everybody to be monogamous. No sucky relationship either. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want no sucky sex. What? You know? And that's and that's what I'm saying. 
that's exactly what I'm saying. So you don't. It, 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 I'm not saying before you just, you know, put your heart all in and all that. I'm just saying, period. If if shit going well and you like a guy and you ain't seeing nobody else, then you want to and he want to. Don't play the game. Just. You know what I mean? Let, oh, yeah, let, I agree let, with that. Happen, happen. I agree with that. I agree with that. You know what I mean? Because you would hate, you'd hate to wait six, seven, eight months down the line and be like, we going out every day. Oh, we feeling each other so tough. And I mean, for real, it'd be like, and you'd be like, what? Right, that'd be so messed up. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what though? Okay, this is taking a step deeper. Just to take it a step deeper. What if what if people really, really was trying to do what God told us to do though? I mean, I'm not trying to go too too deep, but like we ain't well, supposed what to is do he trying to tell us to do? He said, he said do God that. told me to God told me to be fruitful. What did he tell you? Well, I just he, so he, what I've been taught, me to be happy. you're supposed to wait until you marry before you have sex. And people don't he usually get married because they know each other very, very well. So to me, it's just like it's it's weird. Start trying to even imagine marrying somebody that you've never had sex with, and then finding out after you got married that the sex sucks. That to me oh, just oh, like okay, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of dumbfounded, and I'm really literal with the Bible. But where does it say that in the Bible, or where does God write that down that He says that you cannot have sex? Well, I don't know if God man. wrote anything in the Bible. No, no. I mean, I don't read the Bible. Well, 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 well but, where did they transcribe that? Because that's not written down like to you. where the virginity. Okay. Listen, all I'm saying is what I was taught, and it could have been just to keep me a virgin as long as possible, but what oh, I was taught I was it. Did it work? that Did you it work? shouldn't fornicate. Nope. Shut up. You shouldn't fornicate <laughs> or you shouldn't have sex until after you get married. So is that in the Bible or is it not? She lost her virginity. Oh, I think that she heard that. She, she was like, what? I never heard it. Hey, did hey, anybody I listen or hear that shit? No, I'm just saying I, I don't. I I I'm. Wait I'm wait real, wait wait wait. You know, Are you trying to tell me that y'all? What is fornication in? Fornication. Fornication is that's sex a word. before marriage, right? That's, that, that's a, I don't know what the fuck all that shit right there. You know what I'm I mean? A, I'm right there. What you right doing? I'll tell y'all what the you definition speaking, of fornication is. You, you speaking Webster's? You speaking Webster's? I don't know. I don't you know. know. I, mean? I want to know. I want to know. Does it say like we're not supposed to do it until we marry type of stuff? Because obviously, I, I mean, it, 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 my son it, it, was born before I was married, so let's just get that out there right now. I broke it. It might out say that, but, but I was you got to understand. To, and all I'm thinking is that's got to be weird as hell for people who actually do that. Like, for people who actually. Fornication. They, AD. They AD, God huh? did not create. God, God didn't create the language. So, I mean, even if it do mean that, it don't mean it came from God. That, you know what I mean? Fornication, yeah, that's a word. Okay, y'all so ready for the definition of fornication? Murder. Yeah, so for it's... sure. And we got a we got a caller that's trying to pop in too. So I just want to let you know we're gonna get to you right after we get this motherfucking definition. Go ahead, Flo. Fornification typically refers to consensual sexual intercourse between two people not married to each other. Okay, that's what I said. Okay, okay well, well I'm not, I just want to get mean that anybody said that. Right now. No, I thought it said thou shall not fornicate or commit Which? or whatever. Do that. I'm commit just saying that's what I thought it said in the Bible. Right, right. It's all about fucking somebody that's married already. But let me take this caller right no, quick. No, that's adultery. I didn't See, say that about uh, adultery. I'm about to find this shit right here. Who the fuck hey, is 314? They ain't listening. But who the fuck is 314? I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. But y'all wanted to define uh, marriage and fornication real quick, if I may. Go ahead, well, nickname, bro. We need to know what to call you. We need to know what to call uh, you. E, E, E. Another E. E? Yeah, E. Brother E. Oh, brother, brother E. Define it for us, bro. Well, as far as marriage, according to the scriptures, marriage is having sex. With somebody not putting a ring on your finger or nothing like that. Actually, it doesn't even mention <clears throat> anything about a ring in the scriptures. As far as. Oh, uh, that's right. Huh? No, that's, that's right. I'm listening to you. And as far as fornication, that's sex outside of marriage between a man and a woman. So a man and a man is fornication. 
a man and two women is fornication at the same time. Now you Any it, kind of fornication is, is right. It's what you bring in your chambers. Like you can't bring a goat mm-hmm. in your chambers to fornicate. You can't bring two women in your chambers because it's fornicating. Now what you what has been done, uh it's like King David, uh Jacob, Judah, they bring a woman in their chambers and then, you know, when he done with her or whatever, you know, then another one come with him. Ring, but it was ring never the bell and switch up. Say it again. No, I said ring the bell and switch up. Right, right. It it really wasn't nothing like what people doing now is fornicating. I mean, out of craziness, but actually marriage is a mutual bond between a man and a woman. As far as the ring, that's mm-hmm. nothing but a tradition that was added on later on. But yeah, marriage is actually having sex with a you know, like in man, the world. revelation. That's consummation. Be married that's not sex. marriage. Well, that's what consummation is. Consummation is what seals the marriage. And marriage is what's basically made vows before the presence of God. So, no, the ring is traditional and it's not in the Bible. Well, but a marriage, the, yeah, I'm sorry. a marital it bond is, is formed when you make vows in the presence of God. And usually, you know what I'm saying? So marriage is not but just two the people vows doing are made, it. Right, but is the preacher God? No. When Abraham met Sarah, he saw her. Who on his camel took her in a tent and met, took her in his tent and married her. Kind right then and there, you call it. Right then and so, there, that's right. Right then and there, he was married to her. He loved her, of course he did. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, actually, that's how people get messed up in their feelings once you get that marriage or sex involved. Yeah, 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 get the right. fuck hey, hey, right. right. up. Right, Because right. it's actually meant to make babies. It's actually meant to make babies. And that token of that one is what comes up out of you, sis. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But as far as all this other mess, it's yeah, yeah, already so much of it is man-made. It's so much of it is man-made. That's why I'm like, I don't get into religion as much. But I just was thinking about it, like, in terms of what hey. if, though, people really did I'm, try to do that. Like, what if people really hey, did I, try to abstain until... They got traditionally married. To be a lot of uptight yeah, motherfuckers, and there'll be a lot more crime in the world. <laughs> actually, so, actually, what, what, what you What's that? The traditional uh, ceremony would be: I'd go to your father and say, "I want to, you know, have your version." I give him some some coins or whatever. He'd yeah, give me this right. white sheet. He'd that's give right. me this white sheet, and I'd take this sheet and lay it over my bed, and we'd have sex. And of course. It's like a token of your virginity. If it's blood on the sheet, then it proves you're a virgin. If it's no yeah, blood, right. then you're not. And I fold this sheet up, and I give it to your father, and let's say I catch you with another man. I'm like, well, I didn't think she was a virgin before. She's a whore. I go to your father. He opens the sheet. There's blood sheet. there. Right, right. Check the sheet. Right. That's yep. a ring and, and all that. That's Roman. That's Roman, you know, Sorry, you know, not racist, but that's Roman Edomite, it, white it, people pagan. stuff. It, it's pagan. It it's is. Pagan. There it is. It's paganism. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes, but sir. we didn't have that yeah, problem as a people cause before because we hey, always bro. loved each other. So, Bro, I've really been trying to marry a few you. motherfuckers, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. And, and, and they did. And they did. They did. Man, I've been married a long time. Multiple. That's how we got here. Right, right. That's how we got here. I'm a bigot. I'm a bigot. Yeah, yeah. I'm a polygamist. All of <laughs> But I mean, anybody yeah. who's had more than one sexual partner are all adulterers then. For sure. Well, no, 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 no. It's, it's the adultery comes in when, now you can put her away and you can put each other away, but out of this, the adultery comes in is when you were already having you being married to a woman, and then you bring somebody else in unnoticed or basically cheating. That's why I hurt so bad. Because all this is spiritual, actually. All of it is spiritual. Yep. That's why I hurt so bad when somebody cheat on you. And now you're talking about dating women and all that weird mess. And now brothers doing right. weird mess. It's all out of control. Cause somebody's spirit hurt. You know what I'm saying? And it's getting out of control. Spirit ain't hurt. Spirit toe down. 
You know what I'm saying? For hey, real. Bro. Now they. Hey, brother, how you, right. what you do, man? What you do, man? Because you know a lot of this shit. What you do, bro? He went to Bible oh, school, what, too. What you all well, nah, into? I, <laughs> I just follow, I follow the script. No, I'm on the Went on the journey of the lost ones, found the lost ones, and got to read, read all the, I trace our history. That's on my free time. I've been unemployed right. for a minute, but I'm about to get back to work. So, hey, bro, yeah. Yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you. Been a long time coming. This unemployment check ain't hey, nothing yeah. here. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's good, man. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. good. Oh, all right, that's all right. Uh, bro. Dropping that knowledge on Boy, I, had, I just wanted to hear a little bit of your credentials Like what the fuck you reading and shit You know what I mean I, I like to right. kind of get off into that type of shit myself You know what I mean I don't like to just listen most, to what a motherfucker hey, say Christian, like baby, Most of what he's talking goes. about is, is, is oral tradition They don't write that down in the books no more That was the purpose of King James and them rewriting the Bible right. Well so even, with, even with Even with the King James The, uh, the whole thing of the King James ordeal, it was actually two of them, and one of them was a moor, which was a good luck charm that was used by a bunch of the Europeans, and he was the one that gave us our version, the Protestants, when they burned down his church and beheaded him, and they took it, took some books out and sent it here with us, you know, with the slaves and all that, but come to find out, it was our book in the first place. In the first place. You know, yep. <laughs> you know it's sick. Is all sick. Most, 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 most of it came from Timbuktu, which where they, what they looted and burnt up. Exactly. 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 They looted and like. burnt it up. Took some shit. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All they couldn't carry, they burnt up. Right, right. And actually, uh, it's a book called From Babylon to Timbuktu. Uh, yes, sir. That, oh, man. <laughs> I done bought it twice and given given it away twice, but it's it's a it's the history of it'll, the black nations, including the black Hebrew Israelites. So, it, it'll uh, change the complexion of your life reading that book. It sure will. It sure will. It sure if, if will. If you open, if you open to anything and everything else, like people open to the Bible, when you read that book, it'll change. It, it'll change your perception of the world and everything about it. It sure will. Okay. And it'll give you a, a okay, undying, now. unexplainable love for your people that you just can't. Explain, man. Like, man, so the history. It, so it, which, which, one, which one you feel is correct, Biggie, brother? E? Uh, you you feel both of them correct? One correct or what? As far as are we the original people or are are, are everybody just ascendants of the original people? There are, yes, we are ascendants of original people, but there is a remnant. There is a remnant left over. From the original, uh, of course, out of the that, like, man, that's a that's a whole lecture, brother. <laughs> I mean, right, right, I got right. The book I, from, <laughs> right I mean, but yeah, so so much so, it's it's still purity because you have to understand that Noah was the purest man after the flood. Because remember, uh, men and women were having sex with ain't fallen angels, beings of other planets, and made these weird things. Mm-hmm. And it had to be destroyed. So Noah yeah. was the only man that never messed with none of that mess. Noah and his family, which he was from the line of Shem, or not Shem, uh, mm-hmm. Noah actually. But Shem was one of his sons. So after the flood, the mm-hmm. eight that carried the natural human bloodline pretty much, you know, populated the earth. And the uh, chosen went to Shem. Or the, the covenant with the Shem, and it was from Shem mm-hmm. to Abraham, then from Abraham to Isaac, Isaac to Jacob, and or excuse me, uh, yeah, Jacob to the twelve, and the twelve to the remnant that scattered across the four corners, which is the Negroes and stuff like that, which is you know that's a basic mm-hmm. deal. Hey man, you did just shorten the shit out of that shit, and I didn't learn so much. <laughs> 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 that's, that's praise to the Father, man. You know that's that's our that. guy, man. They took him from us, painted our painted his face white. You know what I'm saying? Took the, the lamb from him, painted his face white. Right, gave him a Jerry curl. You know what I'm saying? A white <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come on, now. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Straight trip. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> <laughs> this came with a lot of for real, right? That's right. For real. Right, right. What a thrill of fucking mullet. Come on, man. <laughs> even, even, yeah, even, really uh, <clears throat> it's a uh, book called The Apocrypha, which is authorized King James Version, the brother of King James the Moor, which mm-hmm. that, um, the, the the space between the Old Testament and the New Testament is what's missing in the American version of the King James. Well, overseas they have the Apocrypha, and in some Catholic Roman Catholic church you can find after in their book, and uh, it tells what happened before Christ came and how when they ransacked our Jerusalem again, or one of the many times they did. They opened the book, and as they sought to change the, the paint, the likeliness of their image, pretty much, it explained how they first started, had the idea to paint everything white as far as the uh, Caucasoids, or excuse me, the uh, Canaanites, the Mites got together. All Pretty much all the non-melanated families got together, and, uh, you know, uh, including the melanated families, because Ham was a part of the whole deal. The ones that didn't have ain't they kind of ain't they kind of embarrassed ain't they ain't they kind of embarrassed to know that I mean we like basically saying and admitting that the inferior uh, or or the, the 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 lesser people then actually rose above. I mean I guess that's basically what it is, right? right? That's that's actually what happened because our people even back then couldn't follow the laws and the statutes that the father gave to us. Which is why he has his wife. Even still now, you can see how we act now. The way we were acting now was how we were acting then. How we want to do what everybody else want to do. All these Negroes getting into Buddhism and all this weird mess. Uh, our sisters mm-hmm. putting mouths on you. They swallowing. They let you put it in their behind. And then they put their mouth on you. Then they want to kiss you. That's all stuff that we know. Like, that was unheard like, of. Wow. You know, mm-hmm. that was unheard of. <laughs> But you mean to tell me it wasn't no head going on? I like <laughs> to swallow it. I ain't gonna lie. I like to swallow it. I mean, uh, yeah, that's bad. You know, we you know we're in a different time now. But I'm a, even I'm a product of the flesh. I need it. You know, I just like I just told him, brother. I say, she said, what if you wasn't getting it? If everybody was following the letter of the law, what God laid down and not get sex until you was married. And I told her the crime rate would be a lot higher, uh, domestic <laughs> violence would be out but the see, roof. But see, but see even then, that that would, that would, that's, that's an illegitimate question because, once again, according to the scriptures, being marrying yourself to a woman is actually having sex with it. Right. Yeah. Consummate. Okay. Right, I got you. I got you. Right, 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 no, right, right. Man. So, so see, I, now, I got the thing. They got they put the they put the weight on tradition. It ain't the tradition because the tradition's a man of vain. So it's they put in our sister's head that it's more of the tradition. You know what I'm saying? To put in our head is just feels good and there goes the war from man and woman that it shouldn't be. You know. Mm-hmm. That's from the start because that infidelity is an MF and we all know that. You know. Mm-hmm. And cheating at all that. We all know that, you know what I'm saying? Whether we do it or not, we all know it's wrong, you know? But, but I thought I was supposed right, to be right. fruitful and multiply. Yeah, but if you that means that it shouldn't be no no eight, no hiv out there. We shouldn't have to put no condoms on. That means we shouldn't have to worry about child support. That means, we, that means every time I, like grandma and grandpa, every time I went up in you, baby, I'm making a baby. <laughs> That's why the family was so big back then. Exactly why the family was so goddamn big. Not only right. that, you had to have to like, work that goddamn farm. Shit. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, I I true, man, and, and, every time I go up in you, baby, I'm making a baby. I like that shit. You know? <laughs> but even still, okay, now being that we at, we at this war, we know about the war. Of course, it make it hard for us to be fruitful and multiply 
Because, like I said, you got state programs, child support, people get mad. We already can't watch our own babies, which is changing. Mm-hmm. We all, you know, because all that, I can't tell nobody else kid what to do. That shit out the window because these babies killing each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got to get up off of that shit, for real. You know, and, back and here, I, like, I, I equate mom, that to the... I equate that to, and I hate to say it, but I equate that to, like, my generation, bro. You know what I mean? It's like, it's motherfuckers my age, a little younger, you know, all that shit. They got kids, and these motherfuckers ain't had sense when they was growing up. So what the fuck kind of sense I, am I supposed to think that they giving to their kids? Then you got motherfuckers, I can be any right, teacher right. out here. You know what I mean? But these motherfucking teachers got to deal with crazy-ass kids because then when the parents come in, they see why the fuck the kid crazy. Right. Like, but at this the same motherfucker's time. playing out of her motherfucking mind. You know what I mean? So, right. right. And then we I, know. And then I blame we know the kids, that the, but I blame the parents, too. So, so at the same time, being that we know that the kids and the parents are the same or that parent has a child mentality, it should be easy mm-hmm. to speak with the child and the parent at the same time of what that problem is that needs to be addressed. And we got to be, we got to understand, you got to be willing to die for this shit. These, you got to think, this the people now. You know, mm-hmm. I, you know, parents. Of course, I, I mean, me, I, I don't talk it unless I walk. Of course, I've been crazy joke. You got to be parents. crazy joke. You showing the fuck do? You showing the fuck do? You got to be crazy joke. You re- that's what it is. You got to be. You got to be. You know what I mean? You know, if you ain't got conviction with that shit, don't even fuck around with me. Right, right, right. You know, you know what I mean? You got to be. But. And I feel I got a partner, man. He got a lot of knowledge also because I like brothers that got knowledge. You know what I mean? I like to, I feel like anybody think they know everything shit. You don't, you don't know shit. You know what I mean? So I like brothers with knowledge. Where I can learn shit. And I try to tell that brother, man, you talking a good game, nigga, but I mean, shit, spread it. You got to do something with it. You know right, what I mean? Right. Just talking it to me ain't the thing. You got to spread this shit. You got to start something. Exactly. Exactly. Everybody. Well, that's, the hardest part. that's why we in the it's, same it's position we've been in. It's the right. hardest part to get an audience for that type of knowledge because it's not prevalent out in the air already. It's been, it's been well, swept see, so far see. up under the rug. It's not even a lump under the rug no more. It used to be a little hump in the rug. It's not even a hump in the rug no more. Yet at the same time, remember an audience can be more than one, and everything else comes out. You know, you, 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 the people are dry after that because once you do good for the next, <laughs> you really so much mm-hmm. ain't got to preach. It's at the same time as walking. It's like. You know how it is. You got the neighbor knock on your door, ask you for a stick of butter. Neighbor knock on your door, ask you for five bucks. You know, community type shit. Can you watch my kid outside while I run to the store? Or, yeah, shit like that. That's what we need to get back to. That's what I'm putting forward. Whether, I mean, and willing to die for it. I done been against parents that's, that's as crazy as they feel, but shit. I love my people. Amen. I love my people. Yo, 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 bro, yo brother, I, I hate to cut you off, but uh, we got another caller on line 248. Who is this? DCR Radio. Hi, Buddha. How are you? I mean, hi, Leon. Cousin Mary. How are you, sir? What's going on? Who is this? Coco. What's going on, Coco? Hey, Coco. Finally. Hey, what's up, lady? Lady G. You been listening to what brother even said? I see you're talking about our independent independent women needy. I heard I saw that topic earlier, and then I had to. I'm about, um, to, run the 30, I'm about to hit the 30 second clock on you because you like call at the end of the show. But go. I don't know. Um, I don't think we're actually needy. I just think that sometimes is that we're so used to doing things for ourselves that it's kind of hard to ask for some kind of help. For me, I myself, I I guess I say pride get in my way. I've done so long for myself, hell, there's too much I need. Mm-hmm. That's uh, it. I I can I can agree yeah. with that. Oh shit! I'll sit down. I'll take a cut. Anybody got anything else to say? Y'all 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 through with the shit? 
Got 30 more yeah, seconds. I ain't so, about it. I, 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 pre- I appreciate Brother E coming too. We need to have you on more often and dedicate a whole show to you, brother. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that was mad knowledge. I needed that myself, for real. I don't know that I missed it. Oh, man. Oh, man, but you know, it's always... Thank you, you know, you already know where it's at. Blog Talk Radio. Blog Talk dot, radio dot com slash the clinic. You know what I mean? The clinic Radio. That's how we do that shit. But I'd like to thank all my motherfucking callers. i like to thank my host. We out this motherfucker, you know what I mean? We had a good-ass show. I enjoyed the shit. I holler at y'all tomorrow. Oh, as a matter of fact, all of my women on the show, I'm, I'm ready to marry y'all right motherfucking now. You know what I mean? So check this out. I'm out this bitch. Your motherfucking man. Larry motherfucking Cushionberry. And please say the motherfucker. I'm out. You are now listening to DC Radio. 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 You, you, you ain't fucking with me. You, you, you ain't fucking with me. You, you, you ain't fucking with me.